for this part right here, all the porting's pretty much done. All the blending's done, and as you can see, it looks like it's layered in there pretty good. You know, sometimes you can actually tell the parts that you need to touch just by looking of the reflection in the light. Like I think looking through the viewfinder right here, you can see this a little bit. That's actually a reflection of light. But if you take your finger and you run across it, it feels flat. It's just the way it is. If there's a rise, it might be a three or four thousandths rise, but it's not much. But anyway, what we're going to show you right here is when you get all this done and the porting and bending, blending off, you know, off shooting it off your hip, I give three areas the entrance right here, the short turn height, and then, of course, one in the bowl. That's all I can give for this kind of money, and 99% of the places don't even do that. So I pick the one that's the biggest. Actually, I'd like to see on a 3.5, 1 inches. So if I don't get to 1 inch, I pick whichever one, I go through them, see which one on all the heads that is the biggest, and I duplicated them. But uh, moving this around like I did, I knew going into it I wanted a little more, so I dug a little bit more with uh, my method of opening, which I spent a little time here. And then just a touch there, straightening out that wall. As luck would have it, when I hit that, it was over an inch. I mean, most of these, like an 882 or a 0.825 to 0.850. So I've actually moved this about 125 thousandths. So I take this and go down through there. Of course, it ain't going to be exact at the top or the bottom. But as you can see right here, you can see... It's almost exactly the same. I come over here within a thousandth or two. Almost exactly the same. It stops right around there. A little pinpoints and it does the same here. But that's going to be my measurement. Now, let's go over to the other port on the other side. You can see when I try to go through there, it won't pass. If you look at the teeter-totter, you can see it. I go in, it won't pass, so I let, so I let it teeter-tot and go on by. This side here, look how much it is. So I got to take my grinder, slow strokes a little bit of a time, and hit the area, and then pull it in and blend it. Now this is, you got to be real careful in here because we're getting over to the push rod, and once you cross over one inch, you took a bunch of meat out of it, and I'm going to measure it for you and tell you what it is. Hold on a second. Okay, when I measure it, I'm right over an inch, just where I want to be, uh, about 1.1718, so I got to take this, and I'm going to make the push rod with the same on all the ports in the head, see, as you can see, once again, I can't go straight, so I got to move it and let it teeter top back up. I got to make sure that that point's the same. So this is like a governor, if you will. Uh, it sets the velocity and the speed of the rest of the port. And unfortunately, with the push rod, you know, that right there is where it would be. Is also the downfall because it's got a dog leg that comes in and goes around and comes back. That's why double overhead cams work so well. It's about port area. Okay, so we're going to go on and I'm going to... Finish measuring them, then I'll show you how I get all them the same. Then we'll check the short turn height and then the bowl. When all them get with the snaps where they're all the same, then I'm ready to do the guides and the valve job and the head will just about be over. But pretty much for all practical purposes, Mike Edwards 441 is just about there.